Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Diku in here and I'm back with another video. This is a new series that I'm starting called Quick Tips. In this series, I'll be making some very short videos in which I'll give you guys some quick tips that I think are very important about different features in different applications using NPDA. Now before this video begins, I want to say I apologize for the late upload but I've been very busy this week, so bear with me, at least I got a video out. And I also want to say shout out to my friend Andre who gave me this quick tip literally this morning. So the tip that I'm going to share with you guys is how to use the find dialog in the Microsoft Edge PDF. Before we get into it, I want to ask you guys to please like the video if you find this information useful, subscribe if you're new and share the video with others. Also note that the instrumentals for this video have been provided by Inner Sanctum Entertainment LTD. Now a little backdrop before we get into it. I had a PDF document of a textbook and I was trying to look for a specific lab in the textbook. I was trying to browse through it by headings but apparently the name of the lab wasn't in a heading style and it was like hundreds of pages in the textbook. It would take me forever to find that lab and I didn't know the specific page that it was on. So I tried using the default Ctrl plus F keystroke to open the find dialog in the PDF. But when I typed in what I want and I pressed enter, it only told me result one of one found. But when I closed that dialog box, I was still in the same position. Then I realized that this default find dialog box for PDF is not accessible to NVDA at all. So I asked some of my friends for help and thank you to my friend Andre for sharing this quick tip with me. He shared with me three awesome keystrokes that I'm going to share with you guys today. But first of all, I have to open my PDF document. So let me go ahead and do that. Untitled, loading complete. Embedded object unavailable. Alert PDF document load has completed. Embedded object unavailable. Okay, now I'm in my PDF document and I'm in that textbook that I was telling you guys about. I wanted to find lab 15. Now let me first show you if you use the regular find box with the control plus F that it doesn't work. Find in page downloadable official. Find edit focused blank. Okay, what if I'm supposed to type in that lab 15? Caps lock on. Cap L. Caps lock on. A. B. Space. 1. 5. Then press enter. Lab 15. Result 1 of 1. Then, what if I should tap to close? Previous bu Next but Close button. And press enter. Document. Page 1 landmark graphic unlabeled. I'm still at page one, at the first part of the page. I have not moved. Now, here is the quick tip. So this is the keystroke that my friend Andre shared with me. It is your NVIDIA key plus your control plus your F. In my case, my NVIDIA key is my insert. So let me go ahead and press that. Find dialog. Type the text you wish to find edit selected computer. Okay, so that's in there because that's the last word that I search for in this PDF document. But right now I want to look for lab 15. So let me type that in. Caps lock on. Cap L. Caps lock on. A. B. Space. 1. 5. Then press enter. Page 298 landmark lab 15 slash adding a removable drive. And there you go. It moves me right to where I want to be. I found my lab. Now, there are two more keystrokes that I want to show you before we end this video. Let me use that NVDA plus Ctrl plus F keystroke again to bring up back that accessible find dialog box. Find dialog. Type the text you wish to find edit selected lab 15. Now, let me type in computer. C O M P U T E R. Then press enter. Computer and log on. And there we go. Now, note that because I was on page 200 and something, with the lab 15, it will bring me to the next occurrence of the word computer. So it won't start from the actual beginning of the document. So if you want to find the first occurrence of the word computer, you'd have to go back to the start of your document using your control home, then open the find dialog and type it in. But what if I wanted to go to the next occurrence of computer? Would I go back into the find dialog box? No, there's actually a quick accessible keystroke to do so. That keystroke could be your NVIDIA key plus your F3. So let's press that. Page 300 landmark computer window. And if I should up or and down arrow to let you air that sentence. 9, 10 right paren, close the computer window. There we go. 
And if you want to go to the previous occurrence of the word that you have in the find dialog box, you would use your insert plus your shift plus your F3. Page 298 landmark computer and log on. There we go. And wait, the video isn't over yet. What if you think these keystrokes are too complex or too hard to remember? Well, there is a way to change them. First, make sure that you have your PDF document open and active. We are going to use what is called the input gestures dialog to be able to change these keystrokes. And if you don't know how to use the input gestures dialog in NVDA, go back to my video in which I teach you how to use the input gestures dialog to add keystrokes and to change keystrokes. I'll only be showing you how to find this keystroke to be able to change it. So first, make sure you have your PDF document open and active. Then you press your NVDA key plus your N. NVDA menu. Then down arrow to preferences. Preferences sub menu key. Then press enter. Settings. Then down arrow to input gestures. Speech, puncture, input gestures. N. Then press enter. Input gestures dialog. Tree view. Level 0 braille collapsed 1 of 19. Now, there are two ways to get to this keystroke to be able to change it. There's a long way and there's a short way. Let me show you the short way first. So the short way is by going to the filter by field. So you'll press your shift tab. Filter by colon, edit alt plus F blank. Then type in find. F I N D. Then press tab again. Tree view. Browse mode left paren, three results right paren. Expanded one of one level zero. And there we go, it filters the list and now we have few results. The longer way would have been to just down arrow from where you were selected on braille until you got to browse mode and then expanded that option with your right arrow and search for this find option in that list. So now we have three results here. Let me down arrow to the first one. Level one find a text string from the current cursor position collapsed one of three. So this one by the description that you heard a while ago would be if you wanted to change the actual keystroke to open the find dialog. Now if I should right arrow and expand this option. Expanded one items. Then down arrow. Level two NVDA plus control plus F left paren keyboard all layouts right paren one of one. And there we go, you see that keystroke and you can be able to change it. Just go back and watch my video on the input gestures dialog in which I show you to do all of that. Now let me collapse this menu by using the left arrow. Level 1 find a text string from the current. Press it again. Collapsed. Then down arrow. Find the next occurrence of the previously entered text string from the. Then let me expand this with my right arrow. Expanded. One items. Down arrow. Level 2 NVDA plus F3 left paren. Keyboard, all layouts right per. See, and you can change that keystroke as well. Now let me collapse this option. L collapsed. Then down arrow. Find the previous occurrence of the previously entered text string from the. And you can change that keystroke as well. So all the three keystrokes that I showed you for this video, you can customize them to your satisfaction. Well guys, that's it for this quick tip video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you found this tip very helpful. Thanks again guys for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if you're new and turn on that notification bell to be alerted when I'll post the next videos in this quick tip series. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.